So this is a, a quick video, hopefully quick, um, on fixing my blower motor for my uh, air conditioning slash heating unit. And uh, the symptoms that I was experiencing were was that uh, I woke up the other morning and the um, I could hear the air conditioner condenser outside running, but I was getting no air coming up through the vents and uh, I could smell kind of a sickly sweet electronic smell and I came down here and the blower motor itself was just sitting there humming and it wasn't turning and so I shut everything off and uh, got in there and played with the blower motor and realized that the blower motor itself would actually turn um, so I could reach in it's kind of hard to see it in there. I could reach in there and actually spin the uh, uh, blower squirrel cage. And so I realized that the blower motor itself wasn't locked up. That typically, uh, so what happens then is I s would spin the motor. Uh, I would have the fan turned on at the thermostat, have it turned to on instead of auto. And then I came down here and using this switch, I had it shut off, which it is in the off position now. And what I would do is I would turn the, uh, I could just flick the uh, the blower cage and get it going. And in my case, uh, it turns counterclockwise looking at the back of the motor. And as soon as I did that and I could flick this to on, then the motor would actually spool up. So what that tells me is that there's a really high probability that it's the starter capacitor on the motor. I've had the same thing go wrong with uh, my condenser unit on the outside and uh, a guy that was a repairman was kind enough to tell me hey look you know these these condensers go bad or these uh, capacitors go bad and they really aren't that expensive so you probably I'll just get one and plop it in there and so I've actually done that outside um, and now I'm going to do it in here and so the just lift up on this and of course you want to make sure that you're shut off here and then the, the lower panel just lifts up and slots out of the way so you have a you have a safety switch right here that is held in place by that panel and then if you come down here and look you can see back there is the capacitor which is just like this one. And the one thing you gotta do is make sure that you get the right rating. And uh, in this case, it's a 10 microfarad, 370 volts, and which is what that one is. So I'm not gonna bore you with uh, taking all this out. I'm gonna uh, start to disassemble this and then I'll probably turn the camera on again for just a few seconds to show what I'm doing. So we'll be back in a minute. As luck would have it, I suddenly realized that I shouldn't just <laughs> take this apart without showing what I'm doing. This panel right here, the electronics panel, um, comes out fairly easily. Basically what it is, is on, on this particular unit, there's a, a screw here and a screw here. And they are these screws down here. And then the only other thing there is, is uh, a tab. If you look right there, there's a tab uh, that the sheet metal goes into. So you just take these screws out and kind of gently tug this to the side and drop it out of the way. And then I can get to the screw that holds that clamp in there. So back in a second. Okay, so uh, I had that panel out of the way, took those two screws out and dropped the panel out of the way. Now. One thing that happened to me the other day when I took this all apart to check um, before I ordered the part was that this this terminal actually unplugged itself when I set or when I stretched the uh, the cables out of the way. Just be aware of that it's probably a good idea if you're not familiar where stuff goes uh, to take a picture before you go tugging around on this so that if any of these cables actually come undone, you know where they go. And uh, 
I did not do that, but through a process of elimination, I kept thinking to myself, kept looking at it and going, okay, well, logically, that thing has to plug in a place where it can reach to, and the tab should look like it has some wear on it, and blah, blah, blah. Then the other thing I want to mention was, anytime you're working with a capacitor, whether it's dead or not, you want to short that thing uh, across these two terminals. You want to make sure to short that out before you go touching it, um, because they can hold a charge, and you get a pretty good kick out of it. Uh, so I'll probably do that with a, a screwdriver, just uh, with a rubber handle or a plastic handle, short across those before I take that out and replace it. So, back in a second. Okay, so I have the clamp undone, and uh, you see that's undone, and there's the original. I've shorted across those terminals. I really didn't expect anything to happen, and nothing did. Um, but uh, just looking at these, making sure that they're the same. They're both 97F9002 capacitors and have the same ratings. So uh, I'm just going to do a direct swap over cable to cable. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the new capacitor into the clamp and then uh, put everything back together. So here the uh, new capacitor is in place. The plugs were a little firm, which just doesn't really bother me. I just used the uh, little pliers and plucked them off and then replaced them. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and check the connections on the board, make sure everything's snug uh, after I install it, and then we'll do a test run. So that's what just take another few minutes. I have the board back in. <laughs> Probably one of the most frustrating things is getting those screws back in the right hole. Uh, anyway, everything's gone together so far really easily. And what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. The, the thermostat upstairs is set to fan on. So now there's power to the system coming down to here. And I'm just going to click on this to do a quick test. We should get an LED. And there we go. The LED and the fan. Starting up just fine on its own. Shut it off. Close the switch again. Okay. So there you go. Um, you know, those capacitors are almost cheap enough to where I'm thinking seriously about ordering another one and just leaving it in the package, setting it right here, uh, or setting it on top. Um, so that I have one in, on hand because uh, I mean seriously it's a 15 minute repair and uh, you know it took me a couple of days just because I had to wait for the capacitor to show up anyway uh, I hope this helps somebody take it easy